Tate Modern is an art gallery located in London. It houses the United Kingdom's national collection of international modern and contemporary art, and forms part of the Tate Group together with Tate Britain, Tate Liverpool, and Tate St. Ives. It is located in the former Bankside Power Station, in the Bankside area of the London Borough of Southwark. Tate Modern is one of the largest museums of modern and contemporary art in the world. As with the UK's other national galleries and museums, there is no admission charge for access to the collection displays, which take up the majority of the gallery space, whereas tickets must be purchased for the major temporary exhibitions. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic the museum was closed for 173 days in 2020, and attendance plunged by 77% to 1,432,991 in 2020. Nonetheless, the Tate was third in the list of most visited art museums in the world in 2020, and the most visited in Britain. The nearest railway and London Underground Station is Blackfriars, which is half a kilometre from the gallery. History Bankside Power Station Tate Modern is housed in the former Bankside Power Station, which was originally designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the architect of Battersea Power Station, and built in two stages between 1947 and 1963. It is directly across the river from St. Paul's Cathedral. The power station closed in 1981. Prior to redevelopment, the power station was a 200 meters long, steel-framed, brick-clad building with a substantial central chimney standing 99 meters. The structure was roughly divided into three main areas each running east-west, the huge main turbine hall in the center, with the boiler house to the north and the switch house to the south. Initial Redevelopment For many years after closure Bankside Power Station was at risk of being demolished by developers. Many people campaigned for the building to be saved and put forward suggestions for possible new uses. An application to list the building was refused. In April 1994 the Tate Gallery announced that Bankside would be the home for the new Tate Modern. In July of the same year, an international competition was launched to select an architect for the new gallery. Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Murin of Herzog and de Murin were announced as the winning architects in January 1995. The £134 million conversion to the Tate Modern started in June 1995 and completed in January 2000. The most obvious external change was the two-story glass extension on one half of the roof. Much of the original internal structure remained, including the cavernous main turbine hall, which retained the overhead traveling crane. An electrical substation, taking up the switch house in the southern third of the building, remained on-site and owned by the French power company EDF Energy while Tate took over the northern boiler house for Tate Modern's main exhibition spaces. Tate Modern is an art gallery located in London. It houses the United Kingdom's national collection of international modern and contemporary art, and forms part of the Tate Group together with Tate Britain, Tate Liverpool, and Tate St. Ives. It is located in the former Bankside Power Station, in the Bankside area of the London Borough of Southwark. Tate Modern is one of the largest museums of modern and contemporary art in the world. As with the UK's other national galleries and museums, there is no admission charge for access to the collection displays, which take up the majority of the gallery space, whereas tickets must be purchased for the major temporary exhibitions. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic the museum was closed for 173 days in 2020, and attendance plunged by 77% to 1,432,991 in 2020. Nonetheless, the Tate was third in the list of most visited art museums in the world in 2020, and the most visited in Britain. The nearest railway and London Underground Station is Blackfriars, which is half a kilometre from the gallery. History Bankside Power Station Tate Modern is housed in the former Bankside Power Station, which was originally designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the architect of Battersea Power Station, and built in two stages between 1947 and 1963. It is directly across the river from St. Paul's Cathedral. The power station closed in 1981. Prior to redevelopment, the power station was a 200 meters long, steel-framed, brick-clad building with a substantial central chimney standing 99 meters. The structure was roughly divided into three main areas each running east-west, the huge main turbine hall in the center, with the boiler house to the north and the switch house to the south. Initial Redevelopment For many years after closure Bankside Power Station was at risk of being demolished by developers. 
Many people campaigned for the building to be saved and put forward suggestions for possible new uses. An application to list the building was refused. In April 1994, the Tate Gallery announced that Bankside would be the home for the new Tate Modern. In July of the same year, an international competition was launched to select an architect for the new gallery. Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Murin of Herzog and de Murin were announced as the winning architects in January 1995. The £134 million conversion to the Tate Modern started in June 1995 and completed in January 2000. The most obvious external change was the two story glass extension on one half of the roof. Much of the original internal structure remained, including the cavernous main turbine hall, which retained the overhead traveling crane. An electrical substation, taking up the switch house in the southern third of the building, remained on site and owned by the French power company EDF Energy while Tate took over the northern boiler house for Tate Modern's main exhibition spaces. Tate Modern is an art gallery located in London. It houses the United Kingdom's national collection of international modern and contemporary art, and forms part of the Tate Group together with Tate Britain, Tate Liverpool, and Tate St. Ives. It is located in the former Bankside Power Station, in the Bankside area of the London Borough of Southwark. Tate Modern is one of the largest museums of modern and contemporary art in the world. As with the UK's other national galleries and museums, there is no admission charge for access to the collection displays. Which take up the majority of the gallery space, whereas tickets must be purchased for the major temporary exhibitions. Due to the COVID 19 pandemic, the museum was closed for 173 days in 2020, and attendance plunged by 77% to 1,432,991 in 2020. Nonetheless, the Tate was third in the list of most visited art museums in the world in 2020, and the most visited in Britain. The nearest railway and London Underground station is Blackfriars, which is half a kilometer from the gallery. History Bankside Power Station Tate Modern is housed in the former Bankside Power Station, which was originally designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the architect of Battersea Power Station, and built in two stages between 1947 and 1963. It is directly across the river from St. Paul's Cathedral. The power station closed in 1981. Prior to redevelopment, the power station was a 200 meters long, steel framed, brick clad building with a substantial central chimney standing 99 meters. The structure was roughly divided into three main areas, each running east west the huge main turbine hall in the center, with the boiler house to the north and the switch house to the south. Initial redevelopment For many years after closure, Bankside Power Station was at risk of being demolished by developers. Many people campaigned for the building to be saved and put forward suggestions for possible new uses. An application to list the building was refused. In April 1994, the Tate Gallery announced that Bankside would be the home for the new Tate Modern. In July of the same year, an international competition was launched to select an architect for the new gallery. Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Murin of Herzog and de Murin were announced as the winning architects in January 1995. The £134 million conversion to the Tate Modern started in June 1995 and completed in January 2000. The most obvious external change was the two story glass extension on one half of the roof. Much of the original internal structure remained, including the cavernous main turbine hall, which retained the overhead traveling crane. An electrical substation, taking up the switch house in the southern third of the building, Remained on site and owned by the French power company EDF Energy while Tate took over the northern boiler house for Tate Modern's main exhibition spaces. The new building opened to the public on June 17, 2016. The design, again by Herzog and de Murin, has been controversial. It was originally designed with a glass stepped pyramid, but this was amended to incorporate a sloping facade and brick latticework despite planning consent to the original design having been previously granted by the supervising authority. The extension provides 22,492 square meters of additional gross internal area for display and exhibition spaces, performance spaces, education facilities, offices, catering and retail facilities, as well as a car parking and a new external public space. In May 2017, the Switch House was formally renamed the Blavitnik Building, after Anglo Ukrainian billionaire Sir Leonard Blavitnik. Who contributed a substantial amount of the £260 million cost of the extension? 
Sir Nicholas Sirota commented Len Blavatnik's enthusiastic support ensured the successful realization of the project and I am delighted that the new building now bears his name. Galleries The collections in Tate Modern consist of works of international modern and contemporary art dating from 1900 until today. Levels 2, 3 and 4 contain gallery space. Each of those floors is split into a large east and west wing with at least 11 rooms in each. Space between these wings is also used for smaller galleries on levels 2 and 4. The boiler house shows art from 1900 to the present day. The switch house has 11 floors, numbered 0 to 10. Levels 0, 2, 3 and 4 contain gallery space. Level 0 consists of the tanks, space is converted from the power station's original fuel oil tanks, while all other levels are housed in the tower extension building constructed above them. The switch house shows art from 1960 to the present day. The turbine hall is a single large space running the whole length of the building between the boiler house and the switch house. At six stories tall it represents the full height of the original power station building. It is cut by bridges between the boiler house and the switch house on levels 1 and 4 but the space is otherwise undivided. The western end consists of a gentle ramp down from the entrance and provides access to both sides on level 0. The eastern end provides a very large space that can be used to show exceptionally large artworks due its unusual height. Exhibitions Collection Exhibitions The main collection displays consist of eight areas with a named theme or subject. Within each area there are some rooms that change periodically showing different works in keeping with the overall theme or subject. The themes are changed less frequently. There is no admission charge for these areas. As of June 2016 the themed areas were Start Display, a three-room display of works by major artists to introduce the basic ideas of modern art. Artist and Society in the Studio Materials and Objects Media Networks Between Object and Architecture Performer and Participant Living Cities There is also an area dedicated to displaying works from the Artist Room's collection. History of the Collection Exhibitions Since the Tate Modern first opened in 2000, the collections have not been displayed in chronological order but have been arranged thematically into broad groups. Prior to the opening of the Switch House there were four of these groupings at a time, each allocated a wing on levels 3 and 5. The initial hanging from 2000 to 2006. History slash memory slash society. Nude slash action slash body. Landscape slash matter slash environment. Still life slash object slash real life. The first rehang at Tate Modern opened in May 2006. It is due the thematic groupings in favor of focusing on pivotal moments of 20th century art. It also introduced spaces for shorter exhibitions in between the wings. The layout was Material gestures Poetry and dream Energy and process States of flux In 2012, there was a partial third rehang. The arrangement was Poetry and Dream Structure and Clarity Transformed Visions Energy and Process Setting the Scene, a smaller section, located between wings, covering installations with theatrical or fictional themes Temporary Exhibitions The Turbine Hall The Turbine Hall, which once housed the electricity generators of the old power station, is five stories tall with 3,400 square meters of floor space it is used to display large specially commissioned works by contemporary artists, between October and March each year. From 2000 until 2012, the series was named after its corporate sponsor, Unilever. In this time the company provided £4.4 .4 million sponsorship in total including a renewal deal of £2.2 .2 million for a period of five years agreed in 2008. This series was planned to last the gallery's first five years, but the popularity of the series led to its extension until 2012. The artists who have exhibited commissioned work in the Turbine Hall as part of the Unilever series are. In 2013, Tate Modern signed a sponsorship deal worth around £5 million with Hyundai to cover a 10-year program of commissions, then considered the largest amount of money ever provided to an individual gallery or museum in the United Kingdom. The first commission for the Hyundai series is Mexican artist, Abraham Cruz Villegas. The artists who have exhibited commissioned work in the Turbine Hall as part of the Hyundai series thus far are. When there is no series running, the Turbine Hall is used for occasional events and exhibitions. 
In 2011 it was used to display Damien Hirst for the love of God. A sellout show by Kraftwerk in February 2013 crashed the ticket hotline and website, causing a backlash from the band's fans. In 2018 the Turbine Hall was used for two performances of Messiaen's Et Expecto Resurrection of Mortuorum and Stockhausen's Gruppen. Major Temporary Exhibitions Two wings of the boiler house are used to stage the major temporary exhibitions for which an entry fee is charged. These exhibitions normally run for three or four months. When they were located on a single floor, the two exhibition areas could be combined to host a single exhibition. This was done for the Gilbert and George retrospective due to the size and number of the works. Currently the two wings used are on level 3. It is not known if this arrangement is permanent. Each major exhibition has a dedicated mini shop selling books and merchandise relevant to the exhibition. A 2014 show of Henri Matisse provided Tate Modern with London's best attended charging exhibition, and with a record 562,622 visitors overall, helped by a nearly five-month-long run. In 2018, Joan Jonas had a retrospective exhibition. The Tanks The Tanks, located on Level Zero, are three large underground oil tanks, connecting spaces and side rooms originally used by the power station and refurbished for use by the gallery. One tank is used to display installation and video art specially commissioned for the space while smaller areas are used to show installation and video art from the collection. The tanks have also been used as a venue for live music. Project Space The Project Space was a smaller gallery located on the north side of the Boiler House on Level 1 which housed exhibitions of contemporary art in collaboration with other international art organizations. Its exhibitions typically ran for two to three months and then traveled to the collaborating institution for display there. The space was only accessible by leaving the building and re-entering using a dedicated entrance. It is no longer used as gallery space. Other Areas Works are also sometimes shown in the restaurants and members' rooms. Other locations that have been used in the past include the mezzanine on Level 1 and the north-facing exterior of the Boiler House building. Other Facilities In addition to exhibition space there are a number of other facilities. A large performance space in one of the tanks on Level 0 used to show a changing program of performance works for which there is sometimes an entrance charge. The Star Auditorium and a seminar room on Level 1 which are used to show films and host events for which there is usually an entrance charge. The Chlor Education Center, Chlor Information Room and Macaulay Studios on Level 0 which are facilities for use by visiting educational institutions. One large and several small shops selling books, prints and merchandise. A cafe, an espresso bar, a restaurant and bar and a members room. Tate Modern Community Garden co-managed with Bankside Open Spaces Trust. Access and Environs The closest station is Blackfriars via its new south entrance. Other nearby stations include Southwark, as well as St. Paul's and Mansion House north of the river which can be reached via the Millennium Bridge. The lampposts between Southwark Tube Station and Tate Modern are painted orange to show pedestrian visitors the route. There is also a riverboat pier just outside the gallery called Bankside Pier with connections to the Docklands and Greenwich via regular passenger boat services and the Tate to Tate service, which connects Tate Modern with Tate Britain. To the west of Tate Modern lie the sleek stone and glass Ludgate House, the former headquarters of Express Newspapers and Sampson House, a massive late brutalist office building. Transport Connections At the exit of Southwark Tube Station, orange lampposts direct visitors to Tate Modern. Directors Francis Morris' appointment as director was announced in January 2016. Lars Nip. Vicente Tadalai. Chris Durkin. Francis Morris. Protests. Since 2010 there have been 14 protest art performances by the art collective Liberate Tate demanding the Tate to disengage from BP as a sponsor, and stop allowing Tate to be used to deflect attention away from the devastating impacts that BP has around the world. BP is criticized for operations in relation with petroleum exploration in the Arctic, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, oil sands and climate change. The artists involved in the protests are referring to a deal between BP and the Tate. BP pays £224,000 a year to the Tate. The Tate presents the brand BP in return. In June 2015 a group of artists occupied Tate Modern for 25 hours.